Hey there, my name is Caleb Perez. I'm a network engineer and today's video is about what is the process for the installation of the CML 2.6 from Cisco. If you don't know, this is something similar to GNS3 or EVNG, right? I prefer EVNG, but in this case, I think this new version is pretty good. It's, I think it's better than the previous one. So today's video is about how you can install these Cisco modeling labs. So first of all, you need to purchase the license, right? There are different options. You have the enterprise and you also have the option to buy the personal, which is the one that I have. And you, you are able to run up to 20 uh, virtual devices. So in this case, you will need two different files. Of course, it depends about how you plan to install the CML. In my case, I'm gonna use EXI host. So for that, I will need two files. As you can see here, the first one that I'm gonna use is the a OBA. So you will need this one, and also you will see the ISO. This uh, specific uh, file is for the virtual devices, right? So all the virtual devices are included here. You will have Nexus, you have, uh, I think the Cisco also recently add the virtual catalyst, 9K, ASA. So you will have different options and for that you need this specific file. So once you got these two files, this is my EXI host. So this is my storage and I need to upload at least the ISO related to the uh, virtual images. So I will put it here. I already uploaded it, so I don't really need to do it again. Once you have that, you need also the OBA, as I mentioned before. So let's go and implement or create a new uh, virtual machine. So you will go to deploy a virtual machine from OBF or OBA file, select that one. Then you can enter any name. In this case, I will put CML2. Here you will choose the OBA file. In my case, I have the OBA file here. Now you will see it here. You press next. This is my storage. In this case, you need to uncheck the power on and I will use the provisioning. Then I press next and finish. So you will have it here. Let's wait for the, uh, for this specific task to be completed. Okay, so once the virtual machine task complete, you need to edit the virtual machine. Right. So normally I'm not really moving this. I'm not increasing the CPU or the memory because I use most of my memory and CPU for my even G virtual machine. So in this case, you need to go to the CD DVD driver one. You need to select the data, data store ISO. Then you will select the, as I mentioned before, we need the ISO, which is uh, the file that contain all the iOS versions or the virtual devices. So I will select that one. Then you connect at power on. Also something important that you need to check is at the CPU level. You need to uh, checkbox the hardware virtualization and you save. And then you power on. So you will see this specific window. Press enter here. And let's wait. It will start running the OBA file. Okay, now here you will press continue. Um, you need to read all these, accept, continue. Uh, this is the name that I will use. I won't change it. Uh, here you will see the, the password that you need. Uh, let's only configure a password here. Okay, I won't change my 
password for now. And here in admin, you also need a password here. It's the same, I will continue anyway. Then I will use the ACP. You can use a static IP. In my case, I will use the ACP, confirm. Okay, so reference plan will now copy. Okay, so here it will copy all the ISO images to the uh, virtual machine disk, right? And it, this will take some time. So I press continue and I will pause the, the video. Okay, so as you can see here, you will see that all the I, iOS versions now are part of the virtual machine disk. So you can press here, enter, and then check here what is the IP that you need to use for HTTP. S. So let me log into that specific IP. Is 192. In my case, I use a DHCP. Let me continue here. Here you will enter your username and password. Mm -hmm. And here you will see that you need to licensing the CML not really very difficult so you only choose the product configuration so i got the personal license with 20 nodes so i will select that one and then you can register here and you can apply the token how can you get this token once you purchase the cml you will have this token so you can only copy and paste here there is another way. I think you can create your smart account, but I just purchased my license. And when I downloaded the CML, I saw that on the same uh, website, I was able to see the license and I only copy and paste here. Okay, once you copy and paste the token and you registered with the CML, you will see that now you are able to create your labs. So you can go to dashboard, you can add a new project. Okay, so as you can see here, I am gonna start with my first lab. So you can press add notes and you can select the node that you want. And then you select the add link and you can interconnect your two switches. I start both of them. Okay, so that's what I have. Let me know if you have any questions. You can add your comment here and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.